What's up guys, Strax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another short video. Today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get this dock vest. This is going to be a real simple glitch. It's it's just this vest that you guys see that I'm wearing. It's kind of like the trash vest, but this is the one that just came out in the recent update. It's pretty easy to get. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on how you guys can get it and how you guys can transfer it to other outfits or transfer it to outfits that you guys can make. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the video. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on how you guys can unlock the dock vest just so then you guys are able to glitch it on just like you guys can see how I'm wearing it. So first you guys will need to own an auto shop. So if you guys for some reason don't know how to get an auto shop, I'll show you guys how to buy it. So just go ahead and pull up your phone, go ahead and scroll down to the internet, go ahead and click on the internet, go ahead and scroll down to Mace Bank for Closure, which is this website right here. Go ahead and click on it and you guys will just want to go ahead and hit enter site. After you guys do that, you guys will see in the right hand corner of the property map, you guys will see all clubhouses, bunkers, hangers, and all the other stuff. Go ahead and click on auto shops. After you guys click on auto shops, it'll show all the auto shops on the city or in the city. Just go ahead and buy one, whichever you guys want. And after you guys do buy one, just go ahead and head to your auto shop. And whenever you guys do that, you guys will just want to go ahead and head up these stairs. And whenever you guys do get up these stairs, it's just going to go ahead and bring you to this board. And whenever you guys do get to the board, it's going to show you that you guys have to steal a yellow car from the impound. And after you guys do steal that yellow car from the impound, then you guys will want to go ahead and just come back to your auto shop, deliver that car. And then whenever you guys do come back to the shop, I'll leave... I'll leave a picture right here on the screen of what three heist or three setups that it will show for you. So for me, it's different because I've already done a couple of the heist and setups. So it's going to be different. So whenever you guys see those three heist, you guys will want to go ahead and just, I guess, complete a couple of these until you guys do see the, the ECU job. So whenever you guys do complete like the one in the middle, like you guys will have three jobs to choose from you guys will want to go ahead and do the middle one and as soon as you guys complete that one then you guys will see after that it'll say the ecu job so you guys will want to go ahead and select the ecu job and whenever you guys do select the ecu job then you guys will see that it says train inventory so for the train inventory maybe for you guys it might be on the middle slot just like the after you guys complete or after you guys select the ECU job, it may be in the middle and then something else is on top, but make sure you guys do select the train inventory. After you guys do uh, select the train inventory, then you, you guys will have to go to the dock. And then whenever you guys get to the dock, it's gonna show you like a white figure on the map, which is like gonna be the outfit that you guys have to go to. It's gonna be inside of a van, so you guys will have to get that outfit. It's the dock outfit with the vest. And so after you guys do get that, then you guys will have to do the rest of the mission. And after you guys do complete that mission and you guys come back to your auto shop, then you guys will have that outfit unlocked whenever you guys do get to the clothing store. So I hope that does make sense. I guess if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to help as much as I can. But yeah, so now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys on how you guys can glitch the vest on the outfit or any outfit. Okay guys, so whenever you guys do get to the clothing store, now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how you guys can get the dock vest on any of your outfits that you guys created at the clothing store. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on how to create my outfit. So first, you guys will just want to go ahead and head to a clothing store. After you guys get to the clothing store, head over here to your tops. So for my outfit, I just went and scrolled down to t-shirts, which is going to be on slot 23. So go ahead and click on t-shirts, and you guys will want to go ahead and put on no top, which is on slot 1. After you guys do create, or after you guys select no top, you guys will want to go ahead and back out and scroll down to utility vest, which is going to be right here on slot 53. So go ahead and click on utility vest, and you're just going to be looking for the peach plate carrier. So the peach plate carrier should be right here on slot 43. So just go ahead and put on peach plate carrier. After you guys do put on the peach plate carrier, go over here and head to the pants. So whenever you guys do get to the pants, go ahead and click on jeans, which is on slot one. And you're going to be looking for the midnight camo fitted, which is on slot 41. After you guys do buy the pants, now you guys are just going to want to head over here to the accessories. Once you guys do get to the accessories, scroll down to cuffs, 
go ahead and click on cuffs and for your left arm you're going to be buying the spiked gauntlet which is going to be on slot six and for your right arm you guys are going to be buying the spiked gauntlet which is on slot 17. after you guys buy the spiked gauntlets now you're just going to want to go ahead and back out scroll up to gloves and after you guys click on gloves you're just going to be buying the black fingerless gloves which is on slot 56. so now after you guys bought your accessories head over here to your shoes whenever you guys do get to the shoes for me you guys can just go ahead and click on any because i just put on no shoes so for me i just like i said i put on no shoes but you guys can just go ahead and put on any pairs of shoes that you guys want so after you guys do select the shoes or i guess if you guys don't want to have any shoes just like i have on my character then that's fine but yeah after you guys do have that now you guys will just want to go ahead and take off any head accessories that your character has so even if your character has a parachute take that off your character and so now this is what your character should look like so far so now after you guys do that just go to the front counter of the clothing store go ahead and hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on slot one after you guys do save this outfit on slot one go ahead and back out and scroll down to heist coveralls which is going to be on slot 13 so go ahead and click on heist coveralls and scroll all the way down to the bottom from slot 9 through slot 12 you guys can see these toxic mask outfits like the scientist the the fumigator the hazard and the quarantine you guys will want to go ahead and select one of these with the toxic mask so after you guys do select one of these now you guys will just want to go ahead and head to the pier so then you guys can just go ahead and do the telescope glitch once you guys do get to the pier and you guys are near your telescope, just go and do the telescope glitch. So just go ahead and run, hit right on the D-pad. You should see that your character glitches where his or her mask do glitch off. So now just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your outfit, and you guys are going to be selecting the outfit that you guys saved earlier at the clothing store with the peach plate carrier. So after you guys did select that outfit, now just go ahead and walk away. And after you guys do walk away, you should see that the toxic mask does transfer over to your outfit. So now, you guys will just want to go ahead and head to any gun store. After you do get to the gun store, you guys will just want to walk over here to the clothing. And whenever you guys do get to the clothing, just go ahead and hit edit saved outfits and go ahead and save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20. So you guys can just go ahead and save it on like any of those slots that I set on slot 1 or slot 20. And after you guys do save it on one of those slots, now you guys will just want to go ahead and start up the job that's called a titan of a job. So just to pause, scroll online, hit jobs, play job, rockstar created, scroll down to missions, and look for the job that's called a titan of a job and start up that job. Whenever you do load into the titan of a job mission, you guys will see that you guys load in without the peach plate carrier. So it should be your outfit with only the toxic mask. So now you guys will just want to go and walk back inside the gun store, walk over here to the outfits. And just go ahead and save save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. So now, after you guys save the outfit, just go ahead and pull up your phone, and just go ahead and leave the job from your phone. After you do load back into a session, you guys will just want to go ahead and run back inside the ammunition store. So whenever you guys run back inside the gun store, walk to the right side of the clothing inside the gun store where it should say outfits. So just go ahead and hit right on the D-pad. After you guys do that, go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom where it should say Los Santos Tuners on slot 52. So go ahead and click on Los Santos Tuners, go ahead and click on the dock worker, and you guys can just go ahead and select any one that you guys want. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the old hand. After you guys select the outfit, just I guess with the dock vest, then you guys can just go ahead and back out. And now you're just going to want to go ahead and start up a job that's called Crooked Cop. So just hit pause, scroll to online. Hit jobs, play job, rockstar created, scroll down to verses and look for the job that's called crooked cop or crooked cop and just go ahead and start up that job. After you do load into the crooked cop mission, make sure your clothing is set to player owned and then you guys can just go ahead and launch the job. Once you get into here, go ahead and scroll down to your owned outfit. And if you guys saved your outfit on slot 1, scroll one time to the right. If you guys saved your outfit on slot 20, scroll one time to the left. And as soon as you guys do that, you guys can see that the outfit does transfer over with the outfit that you guys saved from earlier. Or the vest transfers over from the outfit you guys saved from earlier. So now you guys can just go ahead and hit ready to play. 
Whenever you do load into the Crooked Cop mission and you guys have the vest on your outfit, now you guys will just want to go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and on your gear, just scroll one time to the left to put on the LCD earpiece. If you guys don't have the earpiece, you guys can also put on the rebreather or the night vision goggles. But yeah, so after you guys put on one gear piece, now you guys can just go ahead, pull up your phone, and just leave the job from your phone. Whenever you do load back into the session with your outfit, now you guys can just go ahead, if you guys are copying my outfit, just head over here to your hats. Whenever you guys do get to the hats, go ahead and scroll down to Bulletproof Helmets, which is on slot 19, and just go ahead and buy the black Bulletproof. If you guys are creating your own outfit, just create your outfit however you guys want with the other accessories. But if you're copying my outfit, that's basically it. That's all I did was add the Bulletproof Helmet. Now you guys can just go ahead, go to the front counter, save this outfit on whatever slot you guys want. And that's basically it for this glitch. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this glitch. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.